Travelers to Jordan would typically use the jet bus to travel to tourist destinations like Petra and Wadi Rum. But due to a nationwide strike and protest, the bus schedule was an absolute chaos. So continuing on my journey through Jordan, I decided to extend my car rental for the next couple days and use it to travel to the south of Jordan. Wow, I can't believe I actually got a car. I'm so hyped. I'll be honest, I got a lot of bargaining skills still to learn. I pull up at the, at the store here to get a water and I said one big water how much and I'm trying to bargain with the man I said okay one one just one dollar right he said no 35 cents I said oh, oh okay okay no problem <laughs> A city that has served as both the modern and ancient capital of Jordan, Amman stands as one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. Citadel is like on one of the higher points in Amman, so you get a real nice view. In 1994, a groundbreaking excavation uncovered homes and towers dating back to the Stone Age, around 7000 BC. Throughout history, Amman has witnessed numerous transformations. It was once known as Rabah, the capital of the Ammonites, before being conquered by the Macedonian ruler Ptolemy II Philadelphus, who renamed the city to Philadelphia. The Roman rule left an indelible mark on Amman, evident in the remarkable ruins scattered across the city. The Temple of Hercules at the Amman Citadel, the Roman Theater, and the Odeon all stand as testament to Amman's glorious past during the Roman times. Look at these structures. They've been here for like thousands of years. The amount of engineering that went into this. But my question is, my question is, where are the drawings for these places? I know that might be a funny question, but there's no way that these guys built all these structures just off the top. Like they're just like, okay, put this here, put that there. And then it turns out to last thousands of years. Like there has to be like some calculations, some kind of math, some kind of planning that went into this for it to last these long. Even for the pyramids. I want to know what happened to the blueprints. Because that's where all these things begin. Like in engineering, when we do design, you know, everything is calculated down to the decimal. One day we'll find out. Transitioning into the Byzantine period, Philadelphia became the seat of a Christian bishop adorned with expansive churches. However, the city faced a decline during the late Byzantine years. In the 630s, the Rashidun Caliphate ushered in the Islamic era, renaming Philadelphia to Amman. Under Umayyad rule, the city became an administrative center with numerous desert castles established as a means to govern the desert area of modern-day Jordan, and also witnessing the construction of the Umayyad Palace on the Amman Citadel. By the mid-8th century, Amman was rocked by a series of earthquakes, leading to a decline in significance. It changed hands under the various Islamic empires including the Abbasid, Fatimid, Ayyubid, Mamluk, and Ottoman empires. In 1878, the Ottoman Turks resettled Amman with Circassian refugees from Russia, shaping the city's demographics. That's it for the Man Citadel. And this place is crazy. This view, oh my god. Oh my lord.
The city's fortunes changed again with the construction of the Hejaz Railway, connecting Damascus and Medina. By 1903, Amman transformed from a small village into a major commercial hub, a trend that continued with the first and second battle of Amman during World War I, leading to the British mandate and the establishment of the state of Transjordan under King Abdullah I in 1918. Fast forward to 1946, Jordan gained its independence and Amman was designated as the country's capital. Over the years, the city has evolved into a modern metropolis influenced by political events like the Arab-Israeli conflict and the Gulf War where wave of refugees relocated from Palestine, Iraq and Kuwait. Today Amman stands as the fifth largest city in the Arab world with a population exceeding 4 million. It earned the nickname City of Seven Hills due to its unique geographical location. A city that seamlessly blends ancient ruins with modern skyscrapers offering a captivating glimpse into Jordan's past and present. Join me next time as we embark on a mountainous trip through time down Jordan's famous King's Highway, uncovering small cities rich with our Islamic history.